สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Morning Thailand I am Tulip Naksompom and I'm Wana Son k r a h o m and we're welcoming you to the news of the August 13 of 2013 mm-hmm. on MCOT World yes and yesterday was the Mother's Day of yes. course and you know we have talked about the whole donning of the blue colors and blue, blue color pro- yeah you you probably get to see like I went out to the mall and most people were wearing blue So it's True. quite interesting, you know, to to see all these different color schemes. So do you get to go do the nails? Thing? No, mom decided to go shopping instead. So we shopping did that. Shopping is fun. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so you know, whatever she wanted yesterday, she got it. That's good. Yes. Right. So um, just moving on to the first news mm. here. Of course, there were a lot of celebration yesterday, especially from the um, royal families, where they have to obviously uh, went to different places to preside over various activities yesterday. Now, started off at 9:20 a.m. yesterday, Her Royal Highness Princess s o m s o w a l i presided over the. Mother's Day celebration of 2013 at the uh, Suan Amphon Palace. Now, of course, um, this is one of the biggest celebration yet here in Thailand to start the day. Um, there were a lot of rewards has been given um, each year for the best mothers as well as the best children, um, just to celebrate as well as show um, the rest of the nation examples of what good children. Are and what uh, good mothers are. Mm. So these um, mothers and obviously children were actually, you know, involved various type of people, including, of course, this year, Nong Me r a c h a n o i n t e r n o n and of course, Kun Tulip will give you a little bit more information mm-hmm. on that. And of course, there are various um, actors, actresses, as well as singers that has won the award along with their um, mothers as well. Now, at this point, of course, we are celebrating, or we were celebrating yesterday, um, the 81st birthday anniversary of Her Majesty the Queen. There were obviously a lot of people that went to Hua Hin um, of p r a t u a p k i r i k a n Province yesterday just to sign the well wishes for Her Majesty the Queen. Now, um, at this point. Uh, yesterday as well, not at this point, excuse me. There were also various um, activities, including religious activities, where a lot of people actually pay respect as well as um, given an alms in um, in recognitions of celebrating Her Majesty the Queen's birthday. Now there has also been a lot of the celebration in terms of at the Grand Palace, where the Royal Bureau has opened up the. Signing of the well witches starting early in the morning from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Now a lot of uh, people has went in, including the ambassadors of various countries, mm. and obviously, as you can see here, um, the army chief General Prayut Chan Ocha was there as well. Now there has been a, uh, yesterday there were a lot of um, celebration, especially for the fire. Um, Not fire. What do they call it? The clue. Oh, the fireworks. Yeah, the fireworks. There you go. The word I'm looking for. There were uh, fireworks, 34 set all together. Oh wow! Okay. Not 34 fireworks. 34, 34 set. 34 set. Obviously, and you know, at night we have always have to do this. Is that the prime minister will preside over the ceremony where we light the candles mm. in celebration of Her Majesty the Queen's or His Majesty the King's birthday mm-hmm. and such. Now, of course, for this year, um, as you can see, there are 34 set of fireworks, and a lot of people. Of course, you have to don the blue. Otherwise, you're just wearing pretty much um, the colors of your uniform. But something got to be blue, so blue candles it is then. And also um, earlier in the day, the uh, uh, various generals were actually got together, and of course um, went to the uh, the foundation where they working together to conserve all the five forest area all together, and that's involved General Prayut Chan O Cha, General Prawit Wong Su Wan, as well as various other. Um, Generals that were actually together there to celebrate Her Majesty the Queen, but as you can see there, that's our Prime Minister celebrating and 
lighting the candles for Her Majesty mm. the Queen. So various activities indeed, and you know, like we said yesterday, if you get a ch if you got a chance to went to uh, to go to the Rat Dam Nun area, which is the ro long road leading to the Grand Palace, mm -hmm. you will get to see all these celebrations in you know person. Right. And of course, there was a singing of the royal anthem as well. So a lot of cheerful celebration yesterday. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, one of the this is the next news also has some relation to the mm -hmm. Mother's Day because um, we were reporting to you yesterday about Ratanok or mm -hmm. Nongme, uh, the world champion. Yeah, the Our rising star, the star now. Youngest, yes. the youngest. Yes, the youngest, the youngest, the first Thai. She is just eighteen. What you can do at eighteen years old? I mean, I can do. <laughs> well, you can do a lot, but old. you know, if but you not that not, much. Not, not the world champion. <laughs> not, not the something. world champion. Right. Anyway, so uh, like we told you that she came back to Thailand on Sunday night and hoping to spend Mother's Day with her mom. So yesterday she came to spend Mother's Day with her mom and just right here in Bangkok, haven't go back to her house yet. Right. Anyway, so yesterday, this is all the jo journalists always like to find the information about the reward money, which I think it's a good, um, I think it's encouraging, probably exactly an encouraging point mm -hmm. for all for kids others or other people out there that want to create a better result. Mm -hmm. So we'll go to the number first, um, <laughs> <laughs> which I think it make a lot of people interesting. Right. Anyway, so. Um, Altogether, um, roughly 2.5 million baht. That, that's what Ratchanok will get from uh, winning this gold medal from the World Championship um, in China. Um, one million of those is from the uh, development fund, sports development fund from the SAT. Um, 500,000 of those is from uh, Badminton Federation. And uh, 500,000 of those is from the uh, Metropolis, Metropolitan Police Department, mm -hmm. uh, from the Police Lieutenant General, Kamron Vithu Prajang, which Ratchanok will go meet him tomorrow. And apparently, this is what in the news, that she will play badminton against Police Lieutenant General Kamron Vith oh. at about 3 p.m. That will be an interesting thing Why to see. Why would you do that to yourself? And I'm come, talking come about on. the police. Uh, yes, <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's one of his favorite sports. And the um, police department is yeah. giving her 500,000 baht. So, you know, it's something So he, he wants to, to give it a nice. try. Yeah, something nice it's and gonna fun. It's going to be short of breath, <laughs> you know that. And um, also 300,000 baht from um, Yonex, apparently is oh. her uh, main sponsor. And 200,000 baht from uh, Bangkok Thonburi University. And um, to today, in the afternoon, Ratchanok will meet with Prime Minister Ying Lakshinawat at the uh, government building, of course. So uh, the, the um, journalist asked her what is her goal. She said right now, of course, one, the championship is one of her uh, dream in her life, but mm -hmm. in this couple years, she hoped that she will climb up to be number one. Right now, unofficially, her points get her to num get her to number two. The girl that she beat on Sunday is the number one world ranking, and actually, uh, I forget to mention the name yesterday. Right. Li uh, Li Shui Shui. Okay. <laughs> anyway. She is a gold medalist of the previous Olympic. Mm. So one of the goals of Rachanong is in 2016, she will be able to get a grab of one of those gold medals okay. in the Olympics. So her goal right now is climb up to be number one in one or two years, and also the uh, gold medal in next Olympic. And she will go back to practice on the August 15th. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I think she will, it's look, Possible. Of course, it's possible. <laughs> I think she's she's like the kind of girl that has a lot of determination. I mean, if you, like you mentioned yesterday that she was actually injured yes, before and she this took competition. Two months off. Exactly. So you know, it's and all about determination. And, and I forget to tell you that uh, since Sunday, she received the flowers from. Uh, 
crown pe- crown prince, prince. and mm-hmm. also crown princess. Okay. Um, Their Majesty sent flowers to uh, welcoming her at the Suvarnabhumi mm-hmm. Airport. And yesterday, she also received flowers from Her Majesty the Queen oh, as well, okay. and also uh, Her Royal Highness Princess Som Sawali. So mm-hmm. a lot of recognition, of exactly. course. Exactly. So she got the awards as well, like I mentioned, the best children or of yes. the year. Best children of, of year. the year. Best child yeah. of the year. Well, there's <laughs> like there's various people that receive this. So there you go. You receive all this stuff. But of course, this is one of the things that I'm worried mm. is that you have seen, we have seen a lot of the athletes that you know did very well. Showered with all this. Yeah, and and, and they ended up having to go to various activities mm. that they did not have to before mm. and ended up taking that time out from practicing and mm. sometimes you know not only to spoil them but also right, it, right. it took away that time that normally they would use it for something else like I exercise like practicing we have high hope for her yeah she so. said she's gonna go back to practice on the 15 and she still hasn't what's it called, acquired all those gold that she eyed on yet. So I mm-hmm. guess she still has something to look forward yeah, so to. Yeah, so hopefully don't shower her too much if you're out there and you know trying to bring her in. You can shower her, but make sure to drag her back to the Exactly, to, to her court. <laughs> now, um, let's move on to another interesting stories. Of course, I say interesting. I'm not saying that it's good or bad. Mm. I would say it's bad for, for in this particular person. However, there has been um, a report of um, yesterday in Ayutthaya province, uh, Bangpain district, uh, the police were actually called in early at about 7.30 a.m. saying that there was a person, a man, that was clinging on to the um, electrical wire. The clinging on. Yes, clinging on the okay. power line. We're talking because he was trying, look at that, the power line, about uh, seven, 70 meters high. What? Apparently, this is like something that he would like, like he did this to himself. So it's not like um, someone put him there. So he climbed up. And according to the report, they say that Kun Bun Song Tuk Sing, age 50, was actually on the tour bus making his way to Bangkok to find jobs. Um, he was um, a Chiang Rai resident. And they say that on the way there, all of a sudden, he has some kind of, um, I guess, a mental breakdown, you can say, because mm. all of a sudden he actually left the tour bus and started climbing. And according to what? Um, yeah, according to, to his, his own you know, words, he said that he made a pledge with a spirit or a ghost or, or right, of some sort right. saying that you know if he achieves something which we're not quite sure what is he trying to achieve um, he said that if he achieved that he will climb up the power line and pretty much make himself um, you know crossing this particular power line uh, from one spot to another as a way to make a pledge so he did that, but of course, halfway there, he got really tired. And then he decided to that, to, to you know, perhaps moving as close to the pond as possible, because mm. he thought that he's going to just pretty much, um, fall. yeah, mm. he's going to fall into this pond. However, obviously, this is not something very deep. So the rescue team were called in, and eventually, they were able to um, slowly using the rope to um, pretty much pull him down or lower him down um, as close as the water body, uh, the water as possible that, you know, he's not going to get that much of an injury. And then, of course, drop him off to the water there. But it was still pretty bad. At this point, we're, we're not sure what's going on. Um, there is no talk about the substance abuse just yet. Which mm. is all we know is he has some kind of hallucination and he decided to actually do this. And obviously, as you can see there, it's 70 meters high. That's not easy going up that high. Yeah, and, and you can understand why he get tired. And the thing is, he does have, like, he, he did have a rope and such right. to, to, to clinging on. It's but like well prepared? Yeah, sort to, of. to climb, pretty much. Yep. So interesting news. 
Another interesting news, <laughs> but did not end very well. For okay. this one, he survived, of course, but um, for this next news, um, he did not survive. Now, for those of you who enjoy um, different types of, I guess, you know, dangerous sports, um, this one could have been not so dangerous, but of course you still have to be very, very careful. I'm talking about a uh, paramotor. Now you have seen it before, you pretty much put this uh, big gigantic machine off the... Um, it's almost like a big fan attached to your back, mm. like a you know backpack. Mm. And then you pretty much flew up in the air and it's probably give you the excitement, adrenaline rush of being able to fly because obviously you, everything else just you know, is it one of those things also called like glider? Yeah, you know, things sort. like that. But this one is, it looks, you know, it looks, for, for me anyway, it looks scary because the mortar just attached to your back and it, right. it, it looks like the propeller would could hit you anytime. However, this has gone bad because yesterday at about 7 p.m. Um, at night, there was a report of a man that went, um, you know, into one of these paramotor and went missing. And of course, his friends, um, according to all his friends, they say that uh, 20 of them went to the Grung Thae Gri Tha um, housing estates area where they also have this particular uh, paramotor uh, sport uh, store, I guess, or uh, a place. And they say that Kun Re Rai Jin Da Duong, age 32, were actually making his way up just along with other of his friends. However, they say that five minutes to um, went up, uh, there has been some problem with his particular motor. The, the paramotor is stopped working and um, he tried to make his way down. And of course, I, uh, they, the, his friends believe that he must have mistaken the, the pond for a land, or he must not think that um, it was that deep, but it was like six meter deep. So once you get, once he hit the ground, or hit the, not the ground, excuse me, the water, um, the paramotor, due to the fact that it's really heavy machine, mm. dragged him down, and of course his friend tried to help him, but they couldn't, so they called in the rescue team. Um, they have to search for him for two hours before they finally found his body. So it did not went well, and they believe that it's probably the mortar itself that dragged him down, and he could not break away because he, he broke away eventually but they could not find his body by then so uh, just just be Tragic. very very careful because I think that we do have this kind of sport mm. but we do not hear much about safety measures mm. and you know like whether or not there's anything else in place to prevent this from happening or if it's happened what can be done there were no rescue team in sight at the time so I'm not sure if this is going to open up another good case where we should create, you know, yeah. a prevention measures before this happen again. Scary. Right. Yep. Because so I actually like those stuff. Yeah, so be very <laughs> careful. You can do it, but, you know, be careful. Anyway, right. we're going to take a short break. We'll come back. We have more updates about news we have been reporting before and also Thai people that got abducted mm -hmm. in Nigeria. Stay tuned.